Hi, it's me again with Corel Doll Tips and Tricks, and I did this mason jar this morning, and I just blended these, and they're kind of at right angles from each other. And I said in the video that I would try to do it a different way, so I made a larger one and a smaller one. And then I'm gonna take my favorite drawing tool, which is the three-point curve, and I'm gonna go from that center to that center, and then I'm gonna go and just arch it about this, the same radius or, or circumference uh, radius, I guess, of the, of the jar. Now I'm gonna select that one, hold down the shift, select that one, and I'm gonna blend eight of them. I'm gonna hit a plot. I must have grabbed something else. Shift. Blend eight of them. And now I'm going to go right here to new path, and I'm gonna put it on that path. And what it did, it gave it that little bit of an arch. So whenever you blend, you've got to unblend it. So we're gonna select it, break blend apart, and still it's a group, but the outer two are not in the group. So we're gonna select them and ungroup, and then we can get rid of our line. And then I'm gonna group them. Control G, whoop, I didn't get them all. Select all of them, Control G. And then I'm gonna Control D and make a duplicate, and I'm gonna mirror it right there. Now, I don't really want that double one in the center, so I'm gonna to go to group and ungroup, and just delete that center one, that extra center. Now, I was afraid of that. I was gonna get the jar. Now I'm gonna grab all these and just kind of nudge them over where they're kind of equal with that other one. There you go. And now if, depending, you don't want this really cut out so it's very easily to select them all and go fill, whoop, I did not, you have to get them all. And I'm not using any other keys because I don't want anything else but those lines. So if you want to engrave them, but then you need to right click no outline so they will not, that looks pretty good. And since they're really kind of in a group, you could actually spread them out a little bit to the extent of the jar. I think I'm gonna share this jar on my Facebook page because uh, you could do anything with it. I might clean it up a little bit, but it'll be called Mason Jar. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.